What is going on everyone? I'm Adriano and this video is about how to read in your data from AWS S3 into a VAX data frame in Python. In this video I'll be reading in both a single Parquet file and an entire Parquet dataset from S3. We're going to be using the latest version of VAX which is 4.1. Alright so without further ado let's start bringing in our data. Alright so I'm in the AWS console within S3 and I'm going to navigate towards the file that I want to import into the VAX data frame here. So I'm just going to find that Parquet file that I want to import. So it's within a partition data set, but I'm going to navigate to a specific partition and find a particular file. As you can see here, it has snappy compression on it. So we're going to be grabbing the S3 URI, which we'll be using within Python to point to the file that we want to import. So our Parquet data set will be opened into a VAX data frame. So I'm going to assign it to a variable that stands for DF and we're going to do VAX dot open. And our first parameter is going to be that S3 URI. So it's going to be a string of that file. And now this is the only parameter that is required and I should be able to run this and it will work. So this file is not public, but it will still work. And how is that possible? It's going to use your key and secret key from your AWS credential file on your local machine. If I don't specify, it's going to use that default user. But if I wanted to specify a different one, then we're going to have to pass in another parameter, which is going to be fs underscore options and this takes a dictionary so we're going to pass in profile as our key and the value would be the name of the profile so i'm just going to leave it to default but if you had another profile again you would just specify it in the key over here you can also directly pass in your key and secret key within the fs option parameter However, it's generally not a good idea to keep your keys in your code, so I don't recommend that and would recommend specifying your profile instead. All right, so this looks good. Let's just give this a run here. Oop, just made a small error here. I forgot to put an equal sign. All right, that should work now. All right, so we've successfully read in our data into our DF variable. So if we just want to see what that is, uh, we're just going to hit df.head and pass in five to read the first five rows. And now we see our data. Great, so now we've successfully read in our data and we've seen it within our data frame. Now, what if you wanna open multiple files within the same command? So instead of using open, we can do open many, and this will take a dictionary of paths. So I can actually now just pass in the file and add in additional files I want to include to read into my box data frame. So I'm just gonna grab another file that I wanna read in. Make sure you have quotes around that file. All right, so now this should work here. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention here, open many does not work with FS options being specified. So you're gonna have to currently remove this parameter in the current version for this to work. So if you're not using the default profile, you're gonna have a problem reading from S3 with this method in version 4.1. So now if I give this a run, we now have both files being read into our VAX data frame. Great. Now, what if you want to open an entire Parquet data set within your S3 data lake? How can we do this? So instead of using open many, we can go back to be using the open method. And instead of directly specifying the file, we can specify the path of, that contains all the files that we want to bring in. So I'm just going to remove my second file here. And now what we can do is just add for our path a star with Parquet, so it's gonna read all the Parquet files within this directory. I'm gonna remove my partition that I've specified here and just add two stars. What's gonna happen is we're gonna read all our Parquet files below this subdirectory here and has all the partitions are gonna be included. So let's just give that a run. Now the load time will depend on how many partitions you have as well as the size of each file. So if you have hundreds of partitions, it might take additional time. Right, all my Parquet files have successfully loaded in from this directory. If we want to see the total records, we can just do df.shape0. And this will tell us how many records we have. So I have 54,000 records within my entire Parquet dataset. All right, so there you have it. We've successfully opened up Parquet files from AWS S3 using the open method. And then we also use the open many method to open multiple files that we've specified. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button. If you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and you think I missed something in my tutorial please leave me a comment or if you have another idea for a video you want me to make then please leave a comment as well. See you next time.